thinking of moving your domain to Hostinger from GoDaddy? Don't worry, as I've got you covered. This video will teach you how to perform the transfer process in three simple steps. Transferring a domain name from GoDaddy to Hostinger requires you to follow specific instructions. While the process is quite simple, there are several vital factors you need to check before performing the domain transfer process. First, you need to have full ownership of the domain. To maintain ownership, ensure your contact information, such as your name, email address, and phone number are correct. These details are necessary for your current provider to send a confirmation email and proceed with the domain name transfer. Second, the domain should be 60 days or older and currently active. ICANN applies this rule to generic and new domain names that use top-level domains like .com to protect registrants against unauthorized transfer attempts. Unless you are using a country code TLD, it may have a different policy set by the local registry. Third, ensure that your domain hasn't been transferred in the last 60 days. This rule applies to all registrars to help prevent domain hijacking. It's a malicious attack in which an unauthorized party can steal a web address. Fourth, you need a valid transfer authorization code. That would be a secret passcode that your domain provider assigns to identify the registrant and prevent illegal access. You need to get it from GoDaddy and provide it to Hostinger to transfer your domain name. No worries, I will demonstrate how to do that in this video. Lastly, your domain can't expire until the transfer process is completed, which may take five to seven days. With all of these important elements out of the way, we can start the domain transfer process. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future video tutorials such as this one. Domain providers generally lock domain names to protect them against unauthorized transfer attempts. GoDaddy enables this by default, so the first step you need to perform is to deactivate it in order to transfer your domain to Hostinger. That said, several TLDs don't require such a transfer lock. We are going to use the .com domain extension in this video, so this step is necessary. Moving on, the process is pretty simple. Sign into your GoDaddy account, navigate to domain portfolio section and find the domain you want to transfer. Tick the checkbox next to it, choose lock from the action menu, then select turn lock off. Hit continue once you are sure the domain you want to transfer is correct. You'll need to verify your identity through two-factor authentication or the one-time password if you have the main protection activated. Complete the required steps accordingly and you should see a success notification appear once your domain is unlocked. Once you successfully unlocked the domain, you have to prepare the domain transfer. On the GoDaddy domain portfolio page, find the domain you want to transfer once more. This time, go to the transfer menu, then select transfer to another registrar. Review the transfer checklist details for additional info. Note that if you're transferring a .uk domain, you need to change the IPS tag into your SRS-NL before selecting complete transfer. Then select continue with transfer. Again, you'll need to complete identity verification if you have domain protection activated. This is required because you'll be turning off the domain privacy settings automatically once this process is completed. It's a necessary action to transfer your domain contact info to Hostinger. Other than that, Hostinger will ask for the transfer authorization code during the transfer process. Therefore, you need to click the See the Authorization Code prompt to copy it later. Or you may find the code in your email. Once you completed these steps, log into HPanel to continue initiating the domain transfer. In case you haven't registered yet, you can go to Hostinger's domain transfer page, which I linked in the description below. If you are on Hostinger's domain transfer page, you can simply type the domain here. In case you already have a Hostinger account, log into HPanel and navigate to the Domains tab. Select Transfer an existing domain. This process will remain the same. Simply type the domain name here and click Transfer. You can also get a free one-year domain renewal for multiple selected top-level domains. Continue by clicking Purchase. If you haven't created a Hostinger account yet, you'll need to do so to continue to the next step. If you registered a domain and Hostinger before, you can use the existing profile on your account. 
otherwise you'll need to fill in the required details about the domain owner to create a new one. Now you need to enter the transfer authorization code I was talking about earlier. Copy it from GoDaddy account and paste it into the following field. You'll see three different DNS options. Select Use Hosting Your Name Servers and DNS Records, which will be the best choice if you want to pair the domain with a Hostinger's hosting plan. If you choose the second option, you'll get the Hostinger name servers assigned after the transfer, but you'll keep the previous DNS records. The third choice lets you keep both previous name servers and DNS zone records in GoDaddy. Hit the transfer domain button and that's it. Now you have to wait for the transfer process to complete, which may take about 5 to 7 days, depending on the previous register and the TLD. That's how you can transfer a domain name from GoDaddy to Hostinger. If you have further questions, leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any problems during the transfer process, reach out to Hostinger's customer success team. Don't forget to click the like button and share it if it's helpful for you. Finally, subscribe to Hostinger Academy so that you won't miss any future videos like this one. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.